to do the presentation, you must spend 15 minutes pre-planning what you're going to do. They all went before the same judge, same one, and the group that came out best was the one that was forced to pre-plan for 15 minutes. The one that came out second was the one that they were told to do some planning. The ones that came out are the ones that said, I'm going to shoot from the hip, and they're the ones that came out worst. So if you do a certain amount of planning, pre-planning, do it. Absolutely. The more time and effort that you spend, the better it is. Now, I wrote another book called Trump Style Negotiation. All of the got in here and much more is in there as to how it works and other things. And it also teaches you a way how to deal with difficult people. Somebody that says take it or leave it. Somebody that's got an overbearing personality and effectively a lot of other good things that you, that you might like. I, if you like it, buy it. I could use the money. Uh, <laughs> and if not, it's good, but you've just got an idea. If I've opened your eyes to negotiation, that's really what I intended to do, to open it because it's something you always do every day. Now, let's get down and we'll talk to Donald Trump and on one of the transactions and how he put it together and how some of what we're talking about works. Donald came into my office. He was 27 years old. At that time, I had a law firm. I was the head of a law firm doing real estate law. We had 120 lawyers. And I had done work for Donald's father, uh, who never built office building. And Donald comes in, young, never met him before. Father said, George, would you talk to him? I said, Donald says, George, I have this idea. I am going to take the Commodore Hotel, which is basically a derelict that's totally unoccupied and it's owned by the Pennsylvania Railroad. I'm going to get buy it from the railroad at a very cheap price and I'm going to get the railroad, the money I pay, because it, the railroad owes the city 15 million dollars in taxes, I'm going to get the railroad to donate the purchase price to the city so I can make a deal with the city that nobody else could make but I got them 15 million dollars and I'm going to get the state to give me the right of eminent domain to throw out the vagrants that are inhabiting the building. And I'm going to get the state of New York to work with me. And I'm going to get a big mortgage to build this hotel. Okay. Now, what do you think? So now I'm saying, well, let's put it in perspective. This time, the city of New York is one step away from defaulting on all their bonds. There are mortgage foreclosures everywhere in New York. And this is Pine Hot Park Avenue and 42nd Street. The airline's terminals and building is in foreclosure. The Chrysler building, the mortgage is foreclosure. All of this is out. Hotel occupancy rates are 23%. You can't get mortgages because they got all the mortgages. Are, the, uh, yeah. Banks got big problems with the mortgages. And Donald is going to turn this hotel in. Right? So he says, what do you think? And I, I don't remember exactly what I said, but I think it was, um, Donald, whatever you're smoking or drinking, give it up. 